Hi everyone, we're going to talk about doubles today. Now, I've got a dice, double. What double means is that you've got two of them. So if I roll a one, then a double would be another one. So one and one is two. So double one is two. One and one, double one is two. What if I was to roll a two? A two. Two and another two is four. So double two is four. One, two, three, four. How about double three? So put up three fingers in one hand and three fingers in the other. One three and a double here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So double three is six. Double two is four. Double one is two. Okay, we've done one, two and three. How about four? One, two, three, four on one hand. One, two, three, four on the other. Four and four is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So double five. Five and five is ten. And then six. Can I have your six fingers, please? And six is twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So double six is twelve. Now you need to know those facts to be able to play this game called doubles hopping. Now there are actually two games there you will notice. This one is if you play using one die and it says over here roll a die. There's another one underneath and that one is where you roll a ten-sided die. Now if you don't have a ten-sided die there is one that you can make and last week we, or yesterday actually we showed you how to do that. Um, or if you don't want to do that you could just write numbers one through to ten on a card as well and you can just pull one out of a bag at a time so with this game you can play by yourself the aim of the game is to cover as many as you can um, so if I was playing with Mrs Wallace because she's my sister which she's not but if she was and she was at home with me then we would each be a different color I for instance might all be yellow and Mrs Wallace might be red because red's her favorite color actually no today red's my favorite color well, my Favorite. No, it's my favourite colour. <laughs> so what we have to do is roll a die. Let me get the right board up. I just rolled a six. Six and six is twelve. You are right. So I need to find the twelve over here. And I can see one right here. And I'm going to put my colour onto it. So I'm going to put my yellow on that. That now means that if Mrs Wallace, whose turn it is now, if she rolls a twelve, a six, she can put one here or one over here. All right, so you've got two, two and two is four. You are right. Can you see a four anywhere there? Oh, here's one over here. So Mrs. Wallace is going to put hers on. Now let's just say that I happen to put a 12 over here and some other time I rolled another 12 and another time I rolled another 12. That means that there is only one 12 left. And if I roll a 12, I have a 6, which of course doubled is 12. That means that after that, if you roll another 12, you won't be able to have your turn because there are no places left. Okay? So at the end, at the end of the game, whoever has most counters on their game board is the winner. Good luck, everyone. Have fun playing this game. Bye.